Sundar Pichai, who is the CEO of Google, has shared some valuable advice with students over the years. Here are some of his top tips. 1. Stay curious and learn from failures. Pichai believes that it's important to be curious and to learn from your mistakes. He says that failures are a natural part of progress and that they help us learn and develop. 2. Follow your passion. Pichai emphasizes the significance of pursuing your interests and doing what you love. He points out that if you're not genuinely passionate about your pursuits, achieving success can be really tough. 3. Embrace change, according to Pichai. Being open to change and adapting to new situations is crucial. The world is changing rapidly, and he suggests that we need to be able to adjust accordingly. 4. Foster creativity and innovation. Pichai encourages creativity and innovation. He believes that the world needs more individuals who can think creatively and come up with fresh ideas. 5. Stay persistent and never give up. Pichai highlights the importance of persistence and not giving up on your dreams. He acknowledges that success requires hard work and determination, but if you stay committed, you'll eventually reach your goals. Beyond these general tips, Pichai also has specific advice for students aiming to excel in the tech industry. Here are a few of his insights. 1. Learn coding. Pichai considers coding a fundamental skill for anyone interested in the tech industry. He asserts that coding is the language of the future and a must-have skill for success in this field. 2. Be willing to learn, because the tech industry is always evolving. Pichai recommends being open to learning new things. Adapting to new technologies and trends is crucial in this fast-paced environment. 3. Build relationships. Pichai stresses the importance of networking and forming connections with people in the tech industry. He believes that building relationships with those who can support your career advancement is key. 4. Embrace risks. Pichai suggests that taking risks is essential in the tech industry. While it's a space where you can make a significant impact, you need to be ready to step out of your comfort zone and take calculated risks. In essence, Pichai's advice encourages students to stay curious, passionate, adaptable, creative, persistent, and unafraid of embracing change and taking risks. For those aspiring to thrive in the tech world, he emphasizes the value of coding, continuous learning, networking, and an openness to innovation. Let's hear directly from the global tech leader himself, Mr. Sundar Pichai. One of the great things about India is this tremendous interest in education. You know, people talk about it all the time. You know, most parents aspire for this for their uh, children. And so I think it's a great foundation we have as a country. Uh, you know, in my experience growing up here, I think there's a lot of emphasis on, you know, spending time on the books and, you know, learning yeah. things academically. I think education needs to evolve and, and change just like with everything else. Yeah. I think, you know, working the real world, I would say, you know, it is important to be well-rounded. It's important to, uh, you know, try different things. I, I, you know, take some risks. Uh, you know, I would encourage people to, uh, you know, follow their passions a little bit more. All the great things about the Indian educational system, I think there's a lot of pressure to follow set lanes uh, throughout your uh, career. You know, you're in high school, you're thinking about college. I, I, I get surprised people start preparing for IIT in their eighth grades, and, you know, <laughs> that's, that's a bit shocking to me. You know, I hope, you know, as people are approaching things, they are really taking the time to doing things, you know, understanding things deeper. Uh, learning by doing things and uh, you know I think it's important to remember it's a long road setbacks actually don't matter uh, you know I think a lot of times when I was younger you know people would say you know this person didn't get into this college or something and that's the end of the road I mean life is so different from that uh, keep your hopes keep your, keep your dreams and try to follow them and you know I think I think most of how life plays out is up to you, not up to, uh, up to what happens uh, outside of you. And I think it's important to keep that in mind and take the long-term view. Now look, it's remarkable to be at uh, IIT. Uh, there are many, many great people who don't make it in, and you will see this later in life. People do well from all walks of life. Uh, I think it's important to remember getting into an elite institution doesn't guarantee success. Uh, it matters a lot, but it doesn't guarantee success. And, uh, you know, I think, I think that's, it's important to keep that perspective in life. And, uh, you know, uh, life is a long road. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so you want to you take it at the right pace and enjoy what you're doing. You know, I get very surprised people come to IITs and immediately they are thinking. At Google, entrepreneurship is in our DNA. Google was founded here at Stanford. 
and the company's first home was in a garage just a couple miles from here. Like many of you in the audience, our founders were two young people with a vision of a better future, a better way, and, and they decided to follow their dreams. You know, when I see entrepreneurs here, uh, they seem no different to me uh, than uh, the kind of people I meet in the Valley. So intrinsically, I think uh, India can do the same kinds of things. And the one good thing about India is I think, you know, um, there's always been, you know, whenever in India I used to walk around and go to some remote corner and find a tea stall, I always felt uh, that there is an entrepreneur there somewhere uh, who saw that opportunity. So I think that streak has always existed. I think part of the problem is uh, in India, you know, the, the potential is there and the market is developing. I think it'll take a few more years for it to fully realize the potential. And so I'm absolutely confident of it. I think there's a timing issue. But I think, you know, we are growing well as a country. I, I, I think we need to stay at it, continue doing all these things, and it will take a few more years and we'll get there. The trend lines are strongly in the favor. I think every year I can see the, uh, the rate yeah. at which things are changing. Yeah. So in about three to four years, you know, I wouldn't be, you know, I'm pretty convinced at least in a five to ten year time frame that there will be big global, uh, you know, software companies coming out of India and we will be very used to it. You're the ones building the next Google, the next Spotify, the next Tesla, the next, well, we don't even know, but what I know is that someone in this room will build it. One revolutionary idea, one brilliant invention can unleash other entrepreneurs to revolutionize industries and in ways you could never predict. I remember reading about that. And